shalom everyone welcome to spare action revival thank you for tuning in in this video um today as you see on this title i'm going to share my testimony how i met jesus christ of nazareth from being muslim to a christian so i'm going to present myself my name is kani i am the wife of mohammed that you have been seeing in previous video how he shared his testimony how he met jesus christ of nazareth so today the Lord has given me the grace to come and share my own. So please, if it's your first time in this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. For before we start with my testimony, I'm going to make a quick prayer before we start. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, I thank you for the grace you are giving me to come before your people, Father, to share the testimony you are giving to me, oh God. As people are listening to this testimony, Father, Lord, you open people's hearts, Father, to listen for the goodness you have done in my life and my family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for those who are watching this video, Father, that you speak through them, oh God. Father, you touch their hearts, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you for giving me the grace for coming before your people to share this wonderful testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you again. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for those who have been, you know, sending us a um, message on this channel. We are so grateful. God bless you so much. So today, I've, I don't want to make this video too long because my testimony is a long, is a, it was a long journey with um, my relationship with God. So I'm going just to do one part and see if I can do the uh, the second one as well. So as I said, my name is Kani and uh, I'm a wife of Mohammed, have you have seen, and uh, I'm going to share what the Lord has done in my life. As you know, um, I come from a Muslim background. My family, my mom, my dad, my siblings, they are all uh, um, Muslim. And uh, as growing up, um, they, they share the faith with us, they share the culture, how you know, Muslims supposed to behave, what they're supposed to do, the prayer, all those things that, you know, your parents can, you know, share with you. So as a child, I remember I was going to a Quranic classes after school for learning Quran, learning some verses and know how to pray. So I grew with that, I, I, I grew with that um, culture uh, with my family. So as a Muslim girl, you know, so you're supposed to do your prayer. You're supposed to do what you're supposed to do, you know, as a Muslim. Um, as time goes on, I, 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 I get married. I got married with my husband. And now I, I'm living with my husband. He, as you know, he was Muslim as well. So we were sharing our faith together and our children. So um, surprisingly, one day I remember I went to drop my kids in school. And uh, when I was coming back um, as a, a wife, as a mom, you know, when you come back from school, you have to tidy up, cleaning, do your dishes, do, you know, your your choice in the house. So after that, I was watching um, in, uh, one of the series, Brazilian series on the TV that I, I watched all morning when I dropped the kids at that time. So I was watching those Brazilian series. And I remember that day, I was sitting with my, I think my, my little girl was, I think, one or two years old at that time. And uh, I was watching that series. And I remember that day, that series was, the, 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 the series is a long series. It can take one hour, maybe one hour and a half, you know. But that day, that series finished so early. And I was like, oh, I said, this series just finished very early. I said, I wanted to continue to see the end of the, you know, of that series. But as you know, the plan of God in our life, you know, and that's what happened. So as I was watching that series and uh, the series was finished, I said, I'm going to, you know, change the channel and go and see if I can watch a, a different channel, you know, just to entertain myself. So I was uh, flipping the channel and um, I stumbled on the channel, a Christian channel where a pastor was preaching. And uh, I, I was, you know, watching, I watched it and I said, oh, I said, this is a, a Christian channel. So I flipped the channel and I was, you know, going through those channels on my, my TV and I was looking, you know, something to watch. And suddenly I heard a voice uh, saying to me to go back to that channel. So I was thinking that it was my mind and, uh, 
you know, I was like, who is talking to me? So I, I just continued. I didn't really pay attention on that voice. So second time again, I heard the same voice saying to me to go back to that channel. So I was like, who is talking to me? I even turned and see who was talking to me. And the third time again, the voice was so loud that I, I couldn't resist. I went back to that channel. And when I, I, I put the channel on, and it was a pastor who was preaching about Jesus Christ. And he was speaking, even he was preaching. And the things that amazed me that day, when the, the pastor was preaching, it's like he was speaking to me. He was talking to me. He was talking about Jesus Christ. He was talking about my life. And I was so, so amazed. And I was like, who was talking to me? I was confused in the same time. In the same time, I was li listening to the pastor. He was talking to me. You know, the, pre the preacher, he was, the way he was explaining about Jesus, talking about Jesus, it was like, oh my God, this uh, pastor is speaking, the way he's teaching this thing is like he's talking to me. But at that time, I didn't know how those things work. And uh, I was so amazed. And But all that day, I was thinking who was speaking to me, who talked to me that day to go and watch that uh, preacher. So I spent all day like that. It was just turning on my head, turning on my head, because I was asking myself, who was talking to me? You know? And as I was asking myself, I remember the next day again, that, that he repeat himself. I didn't hear the voice, but I had a, you know, a force like telling me to go again and listen to that, that pastor. So I put the channel on and I was, you know, watching it. It's the same thing. There is like the pastor was speaking to me. So I was so amazed. I was like, I said, who is this Jesus? I said, who is he talking about? You know? And I was so attracted on that. And I was asking, I really want to know this Jesus. And I remember that day the pastor was praying and he was asking, uh, if you want to know Jesus Christ, you have to give your life to Jesus Christ. You have to, you know, uh, uh, accept him as your personal and Lord uh, Savior. So I was like, oh, okay. I said, that's why it works. So I was just fascinating on on his preaching it, it's like he was touching me in my it was it's like when he was preaching he was touching my heart that's the word he was touching my heart and i was con i accepted i prayed along with the, the pastor and i remember that day all day i was feeling the joy i was feeling something different in me and i was like what is going on i said this jesus is something different in this jesus so as they passed, I was asking myself and it was getting more and more. The, the envy to know Jesus, it was growing in my heart. And I remember one day I was um, listening to the preacher again. He was talking about the Holy Spirit. He was talking about the Holy Spirit. I said, who is that Holy Spirit again? I said, I don't even know who is Jesus. Now this uh, pastor is talking about the Holy Spirit. I said, who is, is it? I was asking myself, who is that Holy Spirit? Who is that? You know, I was like, what is going on? I was surprised. I was, you know, it was my first time to hear Holy Spirit, Jesus. You know, I, I know, I know Jesus, you know, as Muslim, you know, we all know that Jesus is the, is the, the God, um, of, of the Christian, you know, we hear those things, but we don't know exactly really what is the inside, you know, when you, you, you are, you are Muslim, you don't really know what Jesus did, you know, you don't know the story, really. You don't know what happened, why Jesus gave his life, those things. So I was fascinated. I wanted to know more. And when the, 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 the pastor was preaching about the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is the power. The Holy Spirit is the one that moves in you. He does those things. I was like, what kind of God is this? How come God can move in someone? How come <laughs> the Holy Spirit? I didn't, I was not getting it. I was not, it was too much for me. So I remember, um, one day, um, I was at home when I dropped the kids in school. I came back and I wanted to know more about Jesus Christ. I was like, I was like asking myself, I really want to know this Jesus. I said, I want to know you, Jesus. If you are, you are the true God, show, show yourself to me. Show yourself to me. And as, as, as I was praying, I had, I had the, 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 the the joy in me. I had the, um, the, the, I had the presence of God. I don't know how to explain it. I never had the presence of God. So at that time, I didn't know how to explain it, how to take it. But the moment I, I did that prayer, I hear a voice.
telling me, I am Jesus. I am Jesus. I am Jesus. So I was like, okay. So me too, I can hear voice. You know, I was like, oh, so someone is talking to me. But I had peace in me. I had joy in me when I heard that voice. So I was, I, I continued like that. And he was revealing himself slowly to me until one day I remember he told me, you have, you need to have a Bible because I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know how to, you know, how to start a prayer, where to start from, because I never done that before in my life. So I heard a voice telling me that I need a Bible so that you can teach me how to pray. And I remember that day I was like, how can I have a Bible? How am I going to explain that to my husband? So I remember I, after, after those, you know, encounter, I, I had the courage to explain to my husband, you know, this is what is happening to me and I really need a Bible. So can you buy a Bible for me? You know, the plan of God is so amazing. When God comes to your life, he has planned everything. So I was thinking that my husband will be like, what is going on? What, <laughs> what is happening? But as you know, God is a faithful God. So when I explained to my husband, he said, that's not a problem, you know. As you explain to me, is it if it's a true God, if it's the God that is talking to you, I'm going to buy a Bible for you. So I was so shocked, and uh, my husband bought a Bible for me. So when the, he bought the Bible for me, I was reading the Bible, but I was not, um, you know, I was not getting it. I was like, I was like, I'm reading a journal. I was not. Uh, I, I was like, what is going on in this Bible? I will be reading it, but I'm not, you know, I can't understand anything. So. I was just continuing reading it, but I was like, okay, let me just read it because I don't know how to pray. I remember as long as I was, you know, reading the Bible, I remember one day um, I was listening to the, the preacher again. He was just, he was emphasizing on the Holy Spirit a lot. I said, but who is that Holy Spirit that this pastor is talking about? So he was saying that the, the Holy Spirit is the one that will teach you all things, that he will guide you, he will be with you, he will show you how to pray, he will teach you all things. I was like, oh, I need to know this Holy Spirit. One day, <laughs> at that day, I remember that same day, I was praying in my heart, like, I really want to know this Holy Spirit. So in the night, um, after doing my, you know, my work at home with the kids, I put them in the bed. I went to bed. I had it in my heart. I said, I really want to know this Holy Spirit. I really want to know this Jesus Christ, the, the one they are talking about. I really want to, you know, have that presence, the feeling, the way the pastor was talking about him. I really want to know who is the Holy Spirit, who is that power. Because the way he was talking about the Holy Spirit, he, say, he was saying, he has power, he can do this, he can do that, you know. I was like, I, I need to know this God, I need to know this power as well. So, I remember that night, I went to bed, you know, I went to bed. And my husband was as well with me, lying down. So I was like, I really want to know him. My heart was, I really want to know this Holy Spirit. And I take courage, I say, I'm going to pray. And I remember that prayer, I say, Holy Spirit, I really want to know you. Come to my life. I really want to know your power. I want to know who you are. So I was just praying that in my heart. And I remember that day exactly was at midnight. I started that prayer. I don't know why I, set, I started that prayer at midnight. I don't know why, but just it was just a plan of God for my life. So I was praying. I remember I was lying on my bed and I was facing the wall. And I was just saying that in my heart. I was calling the Holy Spirit, calling him, calling him. Suddenly I, I feel a presence coming onto me. A presence from my toes to my knees. I felt the presence of God. I felt a presence like electricity. That's why I will describe it because I don't know how to describe it. So if I felt the electricity coming up from my toe to my knees and my heart was so beating, I was scared. I had a fear in me. My heart was pumping so much that because I never had that experience before. I never met anybody, you know, explaining how the Holy Spirit walk. I never had a family or a friend who had this experience before. So it was my first time. So I was praying at the same time. I felt the presence of God. Oh my goodness. Oh God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Even the, oh God, I can feel the presence of God right now. Thank you, Jesus. So I feel the presence of God like, it, like a, 
power, the electricity was coming from my toes to my knees. So I felt the presence. I was praying to my heart, pray, pray. The more I prayed, the more it come on. It was coming to me. So it came until my waist. It stopped. Oh my goodness. When God, when I felt that, that power in me, I was shaking. I had the fear. My heart was beating. <laughs> My heart was beating. I was thinking that I'm going to die because I couldn't shake my leg anymore. I was thinking that God, <laughs> my life, this is the end. You know, I was thinking that this is my, my end. That means I'm going to die today because I couldn't feel my leg. I couldn't move anymore. And I remember the, the only force I had, it was up here. So I was just shaking. And as I look at my husband and I was shaking like this. I have, <laughs> I have to wake up my husband. Like I was touching him. I said, well, something is happening here in my body. And the moment I touched my husband, he woke up. He said, what is going on? What is going on? I said, I said, I'm dying. I'm dying. Something is happening to my body. I can't feel my leg anymore. And when I, my, my husband woke up and di direct straight away, the Holy Spirit just left me and I could feel my leg. I could shake my hand and my leg. I could move. And I said to my husband, I said, well, something happened. I said, what happened? Huh? I said, what is going on? Why are you screaming? Why are you shaking? I said, oh no, I was calling the Holy Spirit. You know, I was calling the God, that God to come to my life. And you know, as you know, God is a faithful God. You know, when God comes to your life, he fixed everything. I don't know what happened that day. Even my husband was so calm. My husband said, what are you scared for? You are the one that called this God. So if he is a true God, he was not going to kill you. Be relax. I was looking at my husband. I said, what are you saying? <laughs> my husband said, no. I said, you, if he's a true God, you're not going to die. Just relax and call him. He will come. You want to, you want to know this God. So he let him come. If you don't let him come, how are you going to know it? I was like, look at my husband. I said, what are you saying? Truly. So he, he went to bed. So when he went to bed, I continue. I said, okay. I said, okay, let me just continue and see. I said, anyway, if it's God, he wants to take me today, he's going to take me. So let's just continue. <laughs> so as I was, I started praying again, asking him to come, to come to, you know, I really want to know him. So he came again. That time, oh my God, the power of the Holy Spirit. He came again the same way from my toes to my knees. He stopped. And I said, God, come. I said, Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Holy Spirit, come in my life. Come. I want to know you. He came until my waist again. He stopped to my waist. I was, my heart was beating me. And it seemed that I had a peace in my heart. I had the peace in my heart that I had that joy in my heart straight away. So he came. I was just calling him. Say, Gee, Holy Spirit, come to my life. Come and feel my body. Feel my heart. And I, I, as, as, I saw myself leaving my body with the Spirit of God. I had the peace in me. I can't, I can't, I don't know how to describe it. So when the Holy Spirit came to, he came, he just took out my spirit. I was like, I had the peace. I had the peace. I had the joy. I don't know how can I explain that joy. You know, for those who have been with Christ Jesus, for those who have had the experience and encounter with Jesus Christ, you know, I'm sure you have encountered this. You know, when you have the, the spirit of God, you know, when you are praying, you feel the presence of God. That's how I felt that day. So the Holy Spirit took me. He showed me my past. He showed me when I was, you know, when, when I was, what I was, a child, my life before, you know, until where I was, he showed me all those things. And it, it, he showed me that I was with you since the beginning. Can you imagine? Can you imagine when the Holy Spirit came to me, was showing me all my past, what I was doing before, you know, my life when I was a child. He showed me all this like a cinema. I was watching all those like a movie, you know, like a movie, I was so amazed. It was so beautiful. But I had the joy, the peace in my heart. You know, when I was looking at that, I was like, wow. I was so, you know, the Spirit of God just took me to another realm. I was watching it. He was speaking to me, talking to me. And he was showing me things that I did when I was young. The sin I, I did, he was with me since then. I didn't even know him at that time. He was with me since the beginning. He showed me things to come as well. Oh, it was so, it was, it was, I can't, I don't know how can I describe the, what I, I felt that day. You know, when God come to your life, he, 
He changed you. He will show you that he is a true God. That's what I felt. I wanted to know the true God. I really wanted to know him. He came to my life. He showed me that he, he was, he is the true God. He is the true God. Jesus of Nazareth is a true God. I was missing before. I didn't know all those things. I didn't know that you can have an encounter with, with God. You can, you can come to your life. He can come to you and talk to you, speak to you, show you things to come. I was so amazed. When I was Muslim, I didn't know all those things. I didn't know all those things. You know, when you are Muslim, you know, you, you, you do your daily prayer. And before even you touch your, the Quran or before even you pray, you have to do all your, you know, your rituals, you know, you know, ablation, you know, do all those things, wash your hand, you know, all those things, you know, those Muslim, you know, all, you know, what you do before you go to prayer, you know, when you want to start your prayer, you know what you go through before that. But the Holy Spirit showed me, no, you don't need to do that with Christ Jesus. You can be anywhere, any, ev everywhere and call upon the name of Jesus. You can be with him, you know, pray. It doesn't matter how you are, just come the way you are. I learned it from the Holy Spirit. I was thinking that before touching the Bible, you have to be clean. You have to do some, some, you know, reach up before doing it. He said, no. He showed me, no, you don't have to do that. Just come the way you are. Because the blood of Jesus has done everything for you. You just come, accept him. Come with your heart. That's what happened to me. You know, when I encountered that voice that day, since that day, my life has changed. The Holy Spirit has changed me a lot of things. I don't want this video to be too long. I have so much testimony to share with you. But I know the Holy Spirit will give me the grace and come and share this testimony with you. I thank you so much for tuning on this video today. I bless your name, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray for those who are watching this video that God will touch your heart. God will really going to touch your heart the way he touched my heart. The way he changed me he will change your heart. Jesus is a true God. He died on the cross for you and me. He's our savior. I didn't deserve what I'm deserving right now. But because he died on the cross, he has given me the grace to encounter him. So today I'm calling you to know this Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I didn't do anything special to have this an encounter. But just the mercy of God and His grace has found me. And I pray today this grace will find you wherever you are, that you will encounter this Jesus Christ of Nazareth that He changed my life. I know where I was before. I was a sinner before. I remember when I was amazing, when I'm praying, I was asking myself, if I die today, where am I? Where I will be going? I've been asking myself when I was Muslim. I didn't have any answer. But today, since I give my life to Jesus Christ, as long you are righteous with God, as long you are faithful to God, when you die, you know where you are going. When you die, you know where you are going. That's the assurance we have in Jesus Christ. I thank you, Father, Lord, for giving me the grace to share this testimony today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to share and subscribe in this channel. Thank you so much, Father, Lord for giving me the opportunity to come and share this beautiful testimony with your people. Please, you know, if you, if you, if you have encountered Jesus in your life, if you are, you, you, you gave your life to Jesus, please share your testimony with us in the comment section. We would love to hear from you as well. Please, um, just give your life to Jesus. Open your heart. I know sometimes it's, sometimes it's, it's hard to believe. But trust me, I was missing before. And to come before you to, to share my testimony is to show you that God, this Jesus exists. This Jesus is a true God. It's really a true God. Just you have to believe and open your heart. Accept him in your heart. And the rest you will see for yourself. You have your own testimony. So I'm going to stop today. And I thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.